Coming up on today's episode of Airborne and Man, drone racing league finale to kick off 2022 CES. Also, Beihang University team breaks UAV world record, and Parrot adds training for Anafi UAVs and drones. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Drone Racing League finale to kick off 2022 CES. Next year, CES and Consumer Technology Association banner event for all things technology has a new opening act to kick off the show. The Drone Racing League will close out their 2021 Algorand World Championship season on the infamous Vegas Strip itself in Las Vegas, Nevada. The DRL is a proper companion piece for the event as the world watches the newest advances in consumer technology, the core of the racing series. Unlike traditional sports, the equipment takes center stage. With the rapid pace of UAV advancement bringing continuous upgrades to each race, this year 5G network was offered to the drones, allowing for near instantaneous first-person view for the operators on the track and audiences at home. With custom high spec drones weaving and sprinting through the course at 90 plus miles per hour, the pilots need all the responsiveness they can get. DRL President Rachel Jacobson says their race is the perfect starter for the world famous tech expo. The Vegas Strip will get a high tech makeover with thousands of LED lights marking the tight, winding confines of the neon colored race course. After these messages, a Chinese student team broke another world record in UAV development. Those details after the break. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Alaska Air Group and Zero Avia begin hydrogen development. Zero Avia and Alaska Air Group has entered into collaboration to develop a hybrid hydrogen electric powertrain to power a possible 76-passenger regional aircraft with a target range greater than 500 nautical miles. The initial test bed will be a D. Haviland Q400 aircraft, originally operated by Alaska subsidiary Horizon Air. Equipped with a 3 megawatt plus hydrogen electric powertrain system, the resulting aircraft should be a more sustainable zero emission proof of concept for alternative powertrains. If the conversion is successful, Alaska has the option for up to 50 conversion kits to their existing fleet. Sensefly has been the subject of more good news this week. Following their purchase by Ag Eagle Aerial Systems through a $23 million transaction with Para Group, almost as quickly as the deal was announced, the Department of Defense added the company Sensefly to their blue SUAS 2.0 list, a project to standardize, procure, and integrate commercial drone technology for military use. One of 10 approved manufacturers, their inclusion speaks highly of the developmental state of their EB Scout drone. Russian resupply ship Progress launches successfully to the ISS. 
The uncrewed Russian Progress 79 headed to the International Space Station following a launch at around 8 p.m. Thursday, October 28th from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The resupply ship reached preliminary orbit and deployed its solar arrays and navigational antennas as planned for a two-day rendezvous on its way to meet with the orbiting laboratory and its Expedition 66 crew members. After making 33 orbits of Earth on its journey, Progress docked to the aft port of the station's Vesca module. Aero TV at Expo 21, an Air Hub update from AUVSI Exponential 2021. A new video news feature from Expo 21 has Aero News Editor-in-Chief Jim Campbell speaking with Airspace Link engineer Tyler Dix about what sets their AirHub software apart from a field of contenders. Airspace Link touts a specific program custom tailored to the perfect fit for each user profile. Governments, business, pilots, and developers all have access to a selection of tools and solutions for integrating a UAV ecosystem into their daily operations. Check it out on this website. That was our unmanned minute. Now back to the rest of the news. A Chinese student team broke another world record in UAV development again when their custom-built carbon fiber aircraft stayed airborne for 80 hours, 46 minutes, and 35 seconds. 3100 took the honor for the U-1 class UAV, a category of drones powered by ICE or jet engines from 55 pounds to 220 pounds. Their flight took place on May 18, 2021, when they successfully launched the aircraft from the supporting rack of a small sedan, sending the aircraft onto its flight path without the increased fuel burn an unsupported takeoff would require. The Fang has a wingspan of 32 feet and at full fuel load weights about 120 pounds with a simulated payload of almost 7 pounds. Named after Fen Ru, the father of Chinese aviation, the aircraft was taken to the International Flight Competition in San Francisco, California to represent its homeland. The student team broke the same record in 2019 when a second generation of the Feng Ru flew over 30 hours. Their success then attracted new talent, increasing the size of their Beihang University team. Now on their fourth generation of their UAV, they feel the future of the program looks very bright. After the break, a Europe drone group has a new certified training program. More details after these messages. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. The Zephyr is what you have always wanted. A highly capable two-seat turbine-powered helicopter with great ramp appeal. 100 mile per hour cruise speed, 172 nautical mile range, and to top it all off, a first of its kind emergency airframe parachute system, the Curdy Design Zephyr. Unique, advanced, innovative, and highly capable. Your ultimate freedom machine is available now at zephyr.eu. European drone group Parrot has announced their new certified training program. An education system for professionals to learn everything necessary to safely, reliably, and consistently operate their UAV systems. As drone usage expands throughout the industry, accidents or hard-worn training accidents can be expensive and wasteful with damage or injury halting work. Like any other industrial certification that provides its students a solid, dependable base of knowledge, the Para program aims to give operators and owners a turnkey, simple, and consistent knowledge base for professional use. Parrot's Anafi USA and Anafi AI UAV systems are the newest beneficiaries of the training program now available alongside industry competitors DJI, 
and Autel. The Pirate Certified Training Program is designed to make users of Anafi drones into professional pilots quickly and efficiently, with a system-specific regimen consisting of both ground and flight certifications, with training in the essentials of the national airspace system, upkeep, and vital flight skills. The program prepares the pilot for the flight portion of their training to receive their Parrot Professional Pilot Certificate. That does it for our show today. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. You can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Air News or Airborne in the directory. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.